Well, I've finished my um, precision video op amp for the LaserDisc player. Um, put it on a little prototype board, and I am good to go. It's based on the analog devices AD829 precision video op amp. I've got um, I've measured 110 des um, megahertz of uh, bandwidth, so it's just a ridiculously wide bandwidth um, circuit. Um, it's DC to 100 megahertz. Um, I'm using nothing but 1% um, and 0.1% um, high frequency, low noise resistors. Um, using a 25 turn pot to control gain to it, which actually allows me, I've set it up to where I've got actually a reduction of uh, two times or a application of two times in the range of this. So this allows me to use this in a lot of different circuits and see what all the various video signals look like inside. Um, it's got a lot of power supply uh, bypass, so it's very clean and very quiet. Again, um, it's almost point to point wired, which, you know, saves a lot of, it's also a good quality thing to do. Um, right now it's just hooked up um, with some junk wire to the laser disc player. I am feeding it off power supply in the laser disc player. I'm filtering the, the power coming into it using some big caps and a whole bunch of tantalums um, so that it ends up being super clean uh, power to it. Um, I'm, right now I'm pulling the video off um, right after the uh, digital to analog converter. So I'm pulling it before um, four stages of um, really kind of bad quality amplification on the LaserDisc player. Um, well, bad quality compared to this super precision device that I'm using that's more of a broadcast device for HD. Um, so, anyway, so that's, I'm making this, I'm pulling this pretty cleanly out. Of course, all these wires, you know, this is all going to go away. I'm going to use real precision coax and interconnects and do it all properly. Um, but right now I'm just sort of playing with it um, and it's working out quite well. I've already looked at the picture through it. Um, very clean picture, very interesting. Um, added a lot of interesting detail and some other stuff. I'm gonna, but uh, this wiring is all causing some issues. <laughs> Can't imagine why this wire would cause issues, <laughs> but um, I'm gonna clean all that up. And this eventually will go on the inside of the laser disc player on the other side of this board right here and have almost no interconnect length at all. And then um, we'll feed a very high quality um, RCA jack on the back of the video player. Um, so it'll have a special output on the video player. Um, anyway, so I'm happy with this new circuit. It works well. Uh, good DC to 100 megahertz bandwidth. That's what I measured, too. Anyway. Anyway, I'm happy with this.